Thank you, Mike. We're a month into it, but this is only our second full week. The first week was very short because we started on a Thursday. The second week, uh, the building was closed because of the power outage, uh, and we had Labor Day. And so uh, this is really only our second full week, full week, and we are ahead of schedule. Everybody looks really strong, really fit, and really fast. We, uh, we just got back from the clinic with the, the world's greatest coach, uh, and a lot of what he imparted to us uh, we're already able to utilize. And one of the things he taught us was a test swim, not a test set, but a test swim. It's a one-time, all-out effort to gauge where you're at, uh, at a distance either greater than you would normally race for endurance athletes or slightly less than you would normally race for sprinters. And uh, everybody uh, seemed to be on their best time or under their best time. We had two girls that, uh, judging by their fast 75, Today, if they were to sustain that speed, they would be at their lifetime best the fourth week into a 27-week season. So that bodes well. Well, last year, if you if you consider that our one sophomore actually only had a six-week season as a freshman because we brought her in in January, we took five freshmen basically to their very first nationals, uh, and we had an excellent meet. And it was just an exploratory meet, but we came away with seven All-American swims, um, our team was recognized as one of the uh, breakout teams of the year and one of our swimmers uh, because of her first time national appearance. One uh, time at nationals and came away a six time All-American was recognized as one of the breakout swimmers of the year. So um, it, was, it was high praise and, uh, and I expect us to do much better with a uh, stronger, more experienced team. Well, last year um, we, we took it easy. They didn't realize it at the time, but we were very conservative in how we approached training. Uh, with such a, we had 10 freshmen that uh, had great potential, and we, we want to be very careful with how we treat freshmen. Now, this year uh, we have four freshmen, uh, a transfer, and, uh, and then all those returning swimmers. So we, we have ramped things up appreciably, and uh, they're responding very well. Not everybody trained at a high level, but almost everybody trained this summer. It's a different mix this year. Uh, Margo Adams was not in the water last year for the Blue Gold. Uh, Sam Taylor, our transfer, uh, was not part of the team. So we have basically just about half the team that could win it this year. So it, it should be pretty interesting how everything shakes out.